India has issued multiple NOTAM warnings for the launch of experimental flight vehicles. The first NOTAM is for the period between 10th to 11th June, for a designated range of 390 km, which could be the test of 350 km range Rudram 2 anti-radiation missile from a Su-30 aircraft. The second NOTAM is for the period between 15th and 16th June, for a designated range of 350 km, which could be the test of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. The Indian Army is planning to begin its recruitment process after a two-year freeze. The Army is working on the schedule, and the recruitment rallies are expected to be conducted across the country in the next three months. A new recruitment policy called the Tour of Duty to induct soldiers for short-term service is also being finalized, which envisages the recruitment of personnel below officer rank for four years, and the soldiers are likely to be given a severance package running into a few lakh rupees at the time of their release, and some of them could also be retained in service after the completion of four years of service. The Indian Air Force has released a request for proposal for the indigenous development of moving target detection by using LTE-based passive radar, and the first prototype must be delivered by the selected bidder within eight months of signing the contract. The system will use commonly available LTE signal for detecting and tracking flying platforms with radar cross-section of 0.03 square meters, from a minimum range of 5 kilometers and height of 1 kilometer. The operator will be able to view the range and velocity information of the aerial target through different kinds of display. The DRDO is procuring 20 uncooled imaging infrared seeker for man portable defensive missile system. The development work on the indigenous system will be completed by first quarter of 2023. Hyderabad-based Green Robotics is also developing an autonomous manpad data link system, which will bring isolated manpad operators into a network environment. It will weigh less than 20 kilograms, with fire and forget capability to engage aerial targets by day and night with an effective range of 6 kilometers and at an altitude of more than 3.5 kilometers. Astaria Aerospace has displayed its AT-15 vertical takeoff and landing drone to Indian Army Chief at the Bharat Drone Festival. It weighs less than 15 kilograms, and has a range of 20 kilometers, endurance of 2 hours, speed of 55 kilometers per hour and service ceiling of 3000 meters. It features tool-less assembly and disassembly, digital encrypted communication link, full HD daytime video camera with 30x zoom. 640p nighttime infrared video camera, mechanically and electronically stabilized hot swappable payloads, which makes the AT-15 highly effective in surveillance and security operations. At the Defense and Technology Expo, the RDO Chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the DRDO is developing the world's lightest bulletproof fabric in collaboration with academia and industry, that will start testing in June. He also said, that knowledge is now shared with the development come production partner from the time of prototype development, that reduces the time for undergoing a number of trials. After the recently held North Tech Symposium by the Army's Northern Command, the Eastern Command of the Indian Army has now announced that it will organize the East Tech Symposium 2022 in Kolkata on 7th and 8th July. It will be a great opportunity for the local industry to directly demonstrate their products to the Eastern Command, which is actively engaged across an entire spectrum of operations including conventional operations as well as counter-terror operations in plains forests and high-altitude areas. The Indian Navy has decommissioned the INS Comity Guided Missile Frigate, which had been in service for 34 years. The ship had been deployed in Operation Cactus, Operation Rainbow and Operation Padakram. The UP government and the Indian Navy have also signed a Memorandum of Understanding, to keep alive the ship's legacy in an open-air museum, that is being set up on the banks of Gomati River in Lucknow.
Oh, Mark, drop it. <laughs>